Hello and welcome. On February 25, 2016, the Jamaica Labour Party won the general elections and sent the People's National Party leader Portia Simpson Miller into reluctant political retirement. I do not share the view of some that the JLP has done nothing in its first year. The JLP has done the things the government wants to do, like Donald Trump is doing in the USA. Remove some competent people from tried, tested, and proven positions because they suspect the person is not JLP and therefore must be PNP. Nobody can be independent in Jamaica. So they bought the local government election with the Bolo Bushin money. But I can tell you that somebody is going to pay. Just look at all the persons in the party who have gone silent. The JLP has always supported the Republican Party of the U.S. And Holness should have advised Trump that running up your mouth on the campaign is different from running the office. Saying that Jamaicans will be able to sleep with their doors open with a JLP win was rubbish. It goes to show that crime cuts across all administrations and should never be on the campaign. Neither should health, because bacteria kill babies across all administrations. Holness promised job description for ministers. All ministers under the new Jamaica Labour Party government will be given a job letter. That job letter has a timeline of two years and six months. I hope they will be delivered shortly, as he promised the gleaner last week. It's too early to pronounce on legislation for term limits, so I will leave that. But legislation to deal with corruption will come whenever. Legislation on a fixed election date will not come in my lifetime. And neither will legislation for impeachment nor the grand referendum on buggery nor the CCJ and cannabis, despite what Holness said last week. The truth is, people voted for $18,000 cash back. Now property owners are going to have to fund it because the con was to get the vote and find some way to pay it. We can't pay the millions owed to people with settlements against the state. We can't buy what is needed for the hospitals and for the police. Neither the JLP nor PNP can protect small savers from being ripped off by the private sector, but we can cause some already filthy rich people to become richer. But you know, I don't care who is fixing the roads nor who is getting discipline on the roads from robot taxis. I am heartened that the Prime Minister is not offended when journalists try to speak with him. He should tell his ministers to do the same. But honestly, we should give him a chance. It's only one year. My humble advice, though, Prime Minister, is lose the attitude. It's only one seat you have, and the real test is coming with taxes. Until next week, walk good. <laughs>